Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie if you're new here and welcome to Cassie's Castle. I am actually going to be showing you how I get ready up for a day at Disney. Where's my moisturizer? Man, my voice is raspy. Yeah. Cold water? Nothing better. I already like wash my face and stuff. I love this primer. I feel like it makes my makeup last all day and it just feels really nice on my skin. Now we're gonna grab our beauty blender, which isn't really washed, but it's fine. I'm using the NARS, excuse the disgusting top, that is so gross. I'm using the NARS, what is this? Foundation in the shade Aruba. Honestly, the shade is a little bit too dark for me um i didn't get to like try it out in the store because with like covid and everything like they you didn't really get to test things out you know when you're in the store and i actually had a lady help me and this was too dark it's hard for me to find like a perfect foundation shade still i know i feel like it's 2021 like why haven't i found one yet i also feel like my skin tone kind of changes a lot so like right now i'm a little on the lighter side um because i've been home for like a year and a half and my skin it just hasn't really been seeing the sun this year but you know what take me to hawaii and i will come back I'm like a glowing goddess. This video has literally been so requested for me to show my everyday makeup routine. Um, but this is how I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it at Disney. Obviously, we don't have to make things Disney themed around here. Make it more fun. I'm using this concealer. This is my favorite concealer. It's from Too Faced, Born This Way concealer. I think a good dupe for this is the e.l.f. Camo concealer. That one's really good too. I just haven't really gone to the drugstore to buy makeup in a while i've had all of this other all this makeup for like years but yeah i just like do like two triangles like this and then we blend it out because as you can see i have really dark under eye circles last night i got four hours of sleep i went to bed at one i was watching mickey mouse clubhouse and then i woke up at like 2 45 because once again, stressed that I was gonna miss the boarding pass. I went back to sleep, but I was like, oh my God, it's only 2.45, like, let's go back to sleep. And then I woke up at like 5.45, and then I couldn't go back to sleep after that. We are here, we're thriving, gonna get through the day. Usually I can sleep before a Disney trip, like perfectly fine, but this time I was just really stressed about this boarding pass and I didn't even freaking get it. This concealer is in the shade Golden. I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is in the shade Light Medium. I actually have my new Mini Mouse brushes. I'm gonna take this little... All my brushes just fell, that's great. I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and put that underneath. I think that's just gonna be easier. I also have like a huge scar on my chin that I got recently and I don't know. It looks like I was like a 12 year old little boy. Like I fell on my face. I'm gonna brush it all away. Just like kind of pat my powder because I feel like it gets like really into the foundation when you do that. <gasps> My little bow came off. They're so rude. So my makeup's looking a little weird. I don't know if it's the brush. Then I'm gonna take this little like angled brush. We are going to bronze the skin. So I use the Fenty Beauty bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer ever. I've tried drugstore, I've tried high-end bronzers. This one, the best. This is in the shade Island Ting. I feel like I should have brought my other brushes because this is not... Oh my gosh. Like I just don't like the way these brushes are applying the makeup. And then I go up the side of my head. I feel like I look orange on the camera or something. Or like yellow. I'm gonna take this blush. This is the Milani Rose Powder Blush in the shade Spiced Rose. Like above my bronzer. I really like 
having bronzer like on the apples of my cheeks i don't know i just feel like it looks cuter um but i know or not bronzer blush then i kind of go across my nose because i like to look like i was sunburned and then we're gonna take this um highlight anastasia amrezy highlight we're gonna go like this a good like dupe for this one is the maybelline master chrome i have that one as well but i've been reaching for this one lately i feel like i'm using a lot of high-end products that wasn't really intentional i just kind of been using these things for a while now i'm gonna do my eyes and i really don't do anything crazy especially like when i'm doing like pictures and stuff times like in certain filters like maybe the makeup will look weird so i just kind of go for a natural look this is the disney designer collection by pop color pop color pop i'm gonna take this shade right here which is like a warmish kind of tone but literally like any just like warm shade will look good just kind of go like this and blend it through the top and then i'm gonna add some shimmer i have this ColourPop like mini palette and i'm just gonna take this like gold kind of shade and i use my finger and kind of just go like inner corner towards the middle next thing i'm gonna do is curl my lashes that's basically what i'm gonna do so i got my lashes i'm just gonna reuse them so i'm gonna pick off the glue from yesterday these are the lashes i use this is in the style tiana they're from diamond dazzle boutique which is a small shop that does like disney inspired products you guys can use my code cassie10 no it's not it's Dazzling Cassie for 10% off of your order. I don't make anything off of that discount code, but I constantly promote these lashes because one, I love the small shop, and two, these lashes are literally my favorite. If you ever wonder what lashes I'm wearing in my pictures, it's these lashes. I do cut the ends a little bit. I use the Duo Lash Glue. Then I'm gonna use this mascara. This is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, so good. Except I wanted to restock because I was out of my old one and I got the waterproof one and I hate it. Don't buy the waterproof one. I feel like it just makes my lashes like chunky and it's obviously like harder to take off when I'm doing, when I like need to like remove my makeup. So I put my lashes on. See, don't we look so much better? We look more awake. And I know that when I smile, my eyes are gonna look bigger because of the lashes. Like, when I don't have lashes, when I smile, like, I feel like you can't even see my eyes because, like, my cheeks are just so, like, big, if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm gonna do my brows, so I'm using this little, like, spoolie thing. And I'm just gonna brush upwards. I have naturally pretty thick brows, I think. Lucky for me, all I have to do is literally i just use brow gel i don't do anything else i use this elf brow gel which i actually think i need a new one of i'm literally just like scraping the bottom of the bottle i forgot to bring up my like chapstick and moisturizer so my lips are kind of dry that sucks this is my chapstick or i guess like lip tint thing it's from too faced and i love this stuff because you don't really need to wear like lipstick or anything. This is in the shade of Lilac Nude and they have like different shades if you want like a hotter pink or whatever. I'm gonna add this Revlon lipstick though and I'm just gonna dot it just to make my, my lips more pink. Especially because I love doing like super pink cheeks. Um, I think it just looks good. I don't have to explain myself, okay? I'm gonna do a gloss. This is the Lizzie McGuire clear gloss. Are we done? We're done! I didn't, I don't have setting spray. I'm out and I just didn't restock it. So I'm gonna put an outfit on and then I'll do my hair. I need lotion for my hands because my hands are so dry after I wash them. I just have like really like naturally dry skin. Like, not really my face, but just like the rest of my body is like always dry and like gross. I feel like a reptile sometimes. All right, I'm gonna go pick out my outfit. I actually already laid out my outfits last night and then I'm gonna be taking to the park. This is what we're gonna wear. So cute. 
a little top, a little skirt. I wanted to iron the, the skirt. Let's see if there's an iron in here. We do have an iron. just did my hair um, I did a whole video on what products I use and different hairstyles this is basically just a half up half down and I pulled out some front pieces I used this um, comeback curl to really like moisturize my hair because it was kind of dry this morning because I didn't use my like usual cream before bed and then I also brought this Shea Moisture Make It Last Wash and Curl Revival Oil it just like really moisturizes it again it makes it a little bit like oily if that makes sense not oily but just like it looks healthier instead of so dry and this is the outfit i didn't put the iron away but it's fine this top is from h&m the skirt is from forever 21 i'm wearing these spandex underneath and i'm wearing my white adidas with my little straw or not straw charms my little shoe charms and i'm wearing my new bubble bot ears which are so cute i'm obsessed with them my little hoops this little Tinkerbell necklace, and I'm taking my Diana Nicole Cinderella bag. Um, this is basically going to be my castle pick, so I'm going to try and take this picture first. And then I put all my extra outfits in this bag for later. This bag just has like all my stuff, so it's my, like my perk bag. But yeah, I just need to like put my camera away. That is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoy this little get ready with me. It is currently at like 7.55, so park opens at 8 and i'm gonna try and run over there basically but yeah that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you guys give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe make sure that you watch all the vlogs for more disney content i love you so much and i will see you guys in the next one bye